And if I think about it from a merchant's perspective, it also shifts the expectations, right? Because if I'm buying something online on a random website, I'll expect that it's two-day shipping. I'll expect that there's different options and I'll expect that there's a really good level of service around it. All right, well, thank you, Will. I am Amanda Whitrock. I'm Vice President of Operations here at Kensium. And today I'm joined by Andrew Kim, who is Vice President of Business Development at Shiphawk. Hi, Andrew. Hi. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So to summarize, who is Shiphawk? So, as you mentioned, it's based in Santa Barbara, and we're a cloud technology company um, that focuses on uh, shipping fulfillment and also warehouse mm -hmm. management software. And we work with co um, companies that are connected to ERPs, like, like an Acumatica. Mm -hmm. And our whole idea is if we can actually help those businesses uh, reduce costs and then also improve their process through improving their throughput, through increasing efficiency, and through automating their workflows, um, we're, uh, we're helping them as a, from a business perspective. Okay. How do you see the shipping and fulfillment changing for your customers and, and what should we be planning for? Shipping and fulfillment has changed a lot the last few years, right? So if, if we think about it from just the, the last five years in general, people are used to buying online, right? If, if we think about a lot of the purchases, yeah, you go online, you, you purchase something, and that I think has been um, compounded post-COVID, mm -hmm, right? I think right. after COVID, a lot of folks said, you know what, instead of going to the store, I'm gonna actually, from a click of a button, purchase right. something online. And I think that's had an impact on customer expectations, right? So if I think about it from a consumer's perspective, it's very, very common for a consumer to say, oh, you know what, I want to buy with one click of a button. Mm -hmm. I expect two-day shipping. And if I think about it from a merchant's perspective, it also shifts the expectations, right? Because if I'm buying something online on a, on a, on a random website, I'll expect that it's two-day shipping. I'll expect that there's different options and I'll expect that there's a really good level of service around it. And if I think about it from a shipping fulfillment standpoint, once you actually click a button to buy, a lot of that happens in the background, right? With right. the pick, pack, and ship process. And from a, from a business perspective, they have to do more with less. They have to be more efficient just to meet with the customer demands. And there's ways where they can do that within their own internal process, but there's also a lot of ways where they can actually automate that process through technology. Right, and I, one of the things I like mm -hmm. actually, and just even doing reading about your company, mm -hmm. is real helping. You're helping, I think, mid-sized businesses compete with some of the larger retailers. Right, you're giving them the tools that these larger retailers have, retail, retailers have, and uh, so that they're competitive and they're able to do them. Absolutely, fantastic. Um, so, what are some of the strategies that you think are important for merchants to focus on when it comes to shipping and fulfillment? So I, I think you have to think about it with the customer in mind, mm -hmm. right? If you think about it from a customer's perspective, they want to have visibility of what's happening on a transaction. They want speed of the process when they're actually uh, purchasing. And they also want that delivery time and visibility of the delivery time, right? Those are, those are key things that we've seen. Um, and there's different ways to go about it, right? If we think about it from uh, a customer perspective, if they're going on a, on a website, if they're going on a merchant's website, mm -hmm. they want to know what options they have. They want to know when they're actually getting that delivery. They want to have an accurate idea of, are they paying for shipping? If so, what's the cost, right? right? Okay. If they're getting free shipping, they want to know what thresholds will actually help them get that free shipping. Um, and they'll want to make sure that they have visibility through the process, right? If I think about it from a, from a customer's perspective, those are really the things to automate. Now, behind the scenes, there's a lot that goes into it, right? Because it's understanding from a carrier perspective what options you have, what price you're paying, and, and how that's actually going to be relayed over to the customer. Mm -hmm. um, and those are things that we'll really want to streamline throughout the process from a buyer's journey. Mm -hmm.